Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you're a person that pretty much works in the field of networking and knows what the concept of installing Telnet, then we understand. Pretty much on this video, I'll be showing you how to enable Telnet on Windows 11. I probably made a video before in the past of how to do it on Windows 10, but it has pretty much changed and I honestly don't know how to on the new GUI layout. Oh, I just remember how to go to Control Panels, Apps and Features and enable that feature. So that's the route we're going to go. Um, also, if you are interested in getting some discounted codes, pretty much like for Windows keys or like Microsoft Office or other programs that are there, we're pretty much going to be showing you at the end of the video where you can get some exclusive ones less than $15. Also, if you want, you can just look at the description and you know what to use. Just use our discount code and you'll pretty much be able to how to use it. It'll pretty much just be a shortcut for it. But regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, we can go to different ways and honestly you can go to apps and features, but honestly don't know how it's changed on the new one. It looks a lot different here. So I'm not even going to take a chance underneath this. I'm going to pretty much go to start and just go to search bar and I'm going to pretty much going to type in control panel. I just typed in control and it takes us to this layout. From there, this should be the layout. If you have the old classic, you, sh you honestly shouldn't have this anymore. If it is, look for programs around there and we're going to go to that point. And what we're going to do is go to programs and features. And honestly, we could have went back right there where it said turn Windows features on and off. That's what we're really looking for. Honestly, we could probably can search that here. So turn features, turn. So it pretty much came up. So you can search for this and I'll get you the same place. So here we are. Same place. You see what I mean? This is what we're looking for. So turn Windows features on and off. You can search that on the search bar and I'll pretty much take this to this slot. Give it a little time. It's probably going to take a little second. And these are the features for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just X this out from programs. I honestly don't need that anymore. Now, this is a very important part, and this is especially a field in the IT. This is an example of how to enable the Hyper-V. Now, Hyper-V is a feature that you can use if you have, well, you technically can have Hyper-V on there if you have a home user, but you're limited. If you have a pro or enterprise or something like that, you might have a higher features here on Hyper-V. You can do like that. If you want to install the old classic of 3.5, like .NET 2.0 and 3.0, that has lots of vulnerabilities. Um, it's up to you. But what we're really looking for is scrolling down. And we're going to look for something called Telnet. Telnet Client is pretty much the feature that we used a lot for using. Well, it's not really remotely. It's actually using from programs and stuff with networking and stuff like that. For the text who are out there, that's pretty much the concepts. Also, you have one that also has to use programs of creating ghost imaging. Also, this is pretty much the same concept. You can also choose like the TFTP. You, if you know what that is, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. I still use that still today for ghost imaging when it's needed. Now, it's been a while since I've last had to because um, it's kind of like we already have like the preset of Windows structure. But sometimes it just makes it easy. You just want to clone it and do system restores. Regardless, here is the Telnet client. You'll select it and you'll press OK. Now, it's going to be searching for required files depending on there and Windows completed and requested changes. Now, depending on old Windows, I might tell you to restart. If it does, just do that process and you're pretty much there. So now if you go to pretty much go to start and you're going to type in CMD, this is command prompt. And you can run this actually, honestly, you can open up CMD and because you might need to run it as administrator depending on there. You'll press run as administrator and it'll probably be prompted. Regardless, we're here underneath command prompt and you can type in telnet. And pretty much this is Telnet. Now, if you go into more details and you understand what Telnet, you always can watch like the Star Wars in Telnet. That's another story. Search it up. It's freaking pretty cool. But this is pretty much the feature of Telnet that has been enabled here on Windows. Now, if you have Telnet and you only need to use it for a time period and you want to turn that back off because of security reasons for whoever does understand that, um, we can pretty much reverse the steps. We can go to search and we're going to go to programs. What was it called? Again, turn... Windows programs and features, well, features of on and off. That's what it is. And we'll permit scroll, check what you want. And what we're really looking for again is just uncheck the Telnet client and press OK. And it's going to be searching system requests. It doesn't need that at all. And again, if it does prompt you to restart, do do that process. And that's pretty much it. You'll press close. So now Telnet is turned off. So now if I try and open up CMD again, I can try and run as administrator if I need to or not. Here's Telnet, pretty much command prompt. I'm going to type in Telnet. And it says Telnet is not recognized and the internal or external command. So pretty much it's disabled. And that's pretty much by default how Telnet is disabled here on Windows. And that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. 
If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.